Hey guys, welcome to our channel. This time, we're going to present the top 5 best wrestling anime of all time. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified of our latest videos. Check this out. Number 5 is Uma Musume Pretty Derby. Uma Musume Pretty Derby is an anime adaptation from a mobile game with the same name made by Psy Games. This anime art from April 2018 to June 2018, with a total had 13 episodes. Uma Musume Pretty Derby takes place in a world very much like our own, where great race horses of the past have a chance to be reborn as horse girls. Girls with the ears and tails of horses as well as their speed and endurance. The best of these horse girls go to train at Tokyo's dress and economy, hopefully moving on to fame and fortune as both racers and idols. Special Week, a high school horse girl from the countryside, has just transferred to Dresden, and she is determined to fulfill her promise to her mother to become the best horse girl in Japan. On her way to school, she takes a best job at the racetrack and instantly falls in love with Silent Suzuka's style, becoming determined to race on the same team as her. The Zanme presents a simple story about the struggle of a horse girl named Special Week in achieving her dream of becoming the number one Uma Musume in Japan. With a story that focuses on the sports genre, which is running competition with wrapped with elements of idolization, this anime feels unique and different from most anime. The characters in this anime have unique personalities and characteristics, making existing interactions between the characters feel fun when watched. The visuals presented look good with subtle animations and more character designs that will spoil the eyes of the viewers. Overall, if you like racing anime with cute horse girls, then this anime is perfect for you to watch. Number 4 is Gazega Suyaku Fuiteiru. Gazega Suyaku Fuiteiru is an anime adaptation from manga with the same name made by Sarata Uno and Shion Miura. The anime art from October 2018 to March 2019, with a total had 23 episodes. Gazega Suyaku Fuiteiru tells a story about former ace runner of Sendai Josei High School, Kakeru Kurahara, who is stashed away from a convenience store for shoplifting. Shaking up his pursuer, he runs into Heiji Kiyose, another student from his university. Heiji is impressed by Kakeru's agility and persuades him to live in Chikusei So, the random apartment where Heiji resides along with eight other students. Having lost his entire apartment deposit at the Majung Parlor, Kakeru accepts the offer reluctantly. However, Heiji reveals a secret during Kakeru's welcoming party. The apartment is actually the dormitory of the Kansei University Track Club. He unfills his ultimate goal of participating in the Hakune Eikiden, one of the most prominent university Martin relay races in Japan. Unfortunately, all the residents apart from Haichi and Kakeru are complete running novices. Worse still, none of the inhabitants are even remotely interested in being involved with Haichi's ridiculous plan. With only months before the deadline, will the fourth year student be able to convince them otherwise and realize his elusive dream of running in the Hakune Eikiden? The anime takes the theme of a running club whose members are students who live in one apartment. With a simple theme, the anime is able to present a variety of interesting dramas and conflicts that can make the audience feel emotional. Each character is well explained with their backgrounds and motivations in running. In addition, their different personalities make existing interactions add to the excitement of the story in the anime. This only looks slick with a background image that's made in detail and the animation depicted very smoothly will make the audience feel comfortable watching this one. Overall, even with a simple theme but with conflict and interesting drama makes this one sport anime worth watching. Number 3 is Yowamushi Battle Yowamushi Battle is an anime adaptation from manga with the same name made by Wataru Watanabe. This anime had 12 4 season series and one movie. Yowamushi Battle tells a story about Sakamichi Anada, a cheerful otaku who's looking to join his new school's anime club, eager to finally make some friends. Unfortunately, the club has been disbanded and he takes this upon himself to revive it by finding students who are willing to join. Without much luck, Anada decides to make a round trip to Akihabara on his old bulky city bicycle, a weekly 90km ride he has been completing since 4th grade. This is where he meets fellow first-year student Shunshuke Imaizumi, a determined cyclist who is using the skull step incline for practice. 
Surprised by Anita's ability to climb the hill with his specific type of bicycle, Ima and Zumi challenges him to a race, with the proposition of joining the epic club if Anita wins. And this begins the young boy's first foray into the world of high school bicycle racing. Yowamushi Battle presents an interesting anime about bicycle racing. In this anime, it will be shown how the sport of cycling is not just about pedaling a bicycle with all its strength, but there are a variety of strategy settings, strenuous training, and first matches shown here. Each character has a unique personality and an important role in the story that will add to the excitement of the story itself. The visuals shown look pretty good, plus the animation of each game presented looks intense. Overall, this anime is one of the interesting sport anime to watch. If you want to know more about the world of bicycle racing, then this anime is suitable for you to watch. Number 2 is Initial D. Initial D is an anime adaptation from manga with the same name by Shuichi Shigano. The first season of this anime aired from April 1998 to December 1998, with total had 26 episodes. Second season at from October 1999 to January 2000, with a total had 13 episodes. The third season at from April 2004 to February 2006, with a total had 24 episodes. The fourth season at from November 2012 to May 2013, with a total had 14 episodes. And the fifth season at from May 2014 to June 2014. There is also a movie that premiered in January 2001. Initial D tells you about Takumi Fujiwara, a son of a tofu shop owner who's not particularly interested in cars, with little to no knowledge about the world of car industries and street races. He is always tasked to deliver tofu every morning without fail, driving along the mountain of Akina. This, conversations regarding cars or driving in general will only remind Takumi of the tiring daily routine forced upon him. One night, the Akagi Red Sons, an infamous team of street racers, visit the town of Akina to challenge the local mountain pass. Led by their two aces, Ryosuke and Keisuke Takahashi, the Red Sons plan to conquer every racing course in Kanto, establishing themselves as the fastest crew in the region. However, much to their disbelief, one of their aces is overtaken by an old Toyota AE86 during a drive back home from Akina. After the incident, the Takahashi brothers are curious of a mysterious driver George with remarkable technique and experience in the local roads, the AE86 of Mount Akuna. Initial D presents an exciting and entertaining anime about car racing. The story presented by the Zanma is actually simple. That's about Takumi Fujiwara who initially didn't know anything about racing and only worked to deliver tofu using his father's car that was accidentally stuck in a street race and was able to win so that from then on he began to open do street racing. Even though the story is simple, the various car races presented are always exciting and intense. In each episode, there is always something new, starting from new opponents, new obstacles, new conflict, and many more. Another interesting thing about the Zenmai itself is the music. The Zenmai comes accompanied by Eurobat music which is very good to hear and feels very suitable to the racing situation happening in the Zenmai. From a visual perspective, combining existing 2D and 3D animations for the anime in the 90s already looks pretty good, and the character design is also able to adapt the design of the original manga really well. Overall, if you are looking for an anime about car racing, then the Zenmai is the best free to watch. Number 1 is Red Lion. Red Lion is an original movie anime made by Madhouse Studio and directed by Takashi Koike. This anime premiered in August 2009. Red Lion tells a story about an exhilarating race called Red Lion, and the universe's most anticipated competition has only one rule that they are unknown. Racers are pushed to their absolute limit, a feeling that daredevil driver JEP knows all too well. Having just qualified to participate in Red Line, he is eager to battle against the other highly skilled drivers, particularly the beautiful rising star and the only other human that qualified, Sonoshi McLaren. But this year's Red Line may be far more dangerous than usual. It has been announced to take place on the planet Robo Road with its trigger happy military and criminals who look to turn the race to their own advantage. However, the potential danger doesn't stop the racers. In fact, it only adds to the thrill. 
relying solely on his vehicle speed, JP prepares for the event to come, aiming to take first place in the biggest race of his life. Redline presents an exciting and unusual car racing anime. The story presented by the anime itself is actually quite simple. It's just about the struggle of a man named JP who follows a prestigious car race named Redline, which is famous for having no rules at all. Because car race presented has absolutely no rules, making a lot of unexpected things can happen in this anime, ranging from excessive use of nitro, use of weapons, even the existence of two racers driving one car. All of them are legal juju. Even though the story is pretty simple, it doesn't mean there is no interesting conflict. We'll see an interesting conflict surrounding a red line race itself, and even the mafia involved in the race. In terms of characterizations, the characters in this anime have unique personalities and backgrounds. It makes the anime have a lot of unique and interesting moments because of the behavior of the characters. From a visual perspective, the animation looks unique but fits perfectly with the nuances of the races presented. The background art also looks quite detailed, and the character design also looks interesting. Overall, if you're looking for an anime with car racing that's unique and also exciting, then this anime is suitable for you to watch. It's our top 5 best racing anime of full time that we can present this time. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and see you next time guys!